Hello, back with another video on Azure Front Door this time. We're going to zoom in on an interesting use case for the rules engine feature. So very quickly, if we didn't know what Azure Front Door was, it's a layer seven reverse proxy with web application firewall support. It runs in the Microsoft Edge, one of our hundreds of pops around the world. So we take in traffic close to your users, increases performance, increases security. Check out one of the previous videos on Azure Front Door with private link for a bit more general context. But this time we're going to highlight how the rules engine can be used to manipulate the backend origin selection based on the contents of the message that's posted in by the user. In essence, when traffic comes into front door at the edge, it's a full reverse proxy. So it terminates TLS and can look at the contents of the HTTP headers. And in our case, the body of the HTTP request and use that to make routing decisions. In our example, we'll show how we can override the choice of origin, the backend that we send it to based on the conditions we set in our rules engine. Let's move to our whiteboard to go a level deeper. So this particular client was moving a workload from on-prem into Azure, and they performed some reverse proxy logic on premises today with a physical appliance from a different vendor. They took in the traffic from the user and depended on what the XML body data contained, a different backend was set. For example, if the contents of the message contained dev, it would go to the dev backend. If the contents of the message contain prod, it will go to the prod backend. Could be a different web server, different application, etc. We're going to simplify that. We're going to have red and blue as our different types here. We've got our client out here on the internet, which goes to Azure Front Door using our Front Door provided FQDN, as we'll show in the demonstration later. Of course, you would be using a, a custom URL if this was a production environment customized to your company. When Front Door gets hold of it, it's going to process that packet based on the logic that we instantiate. We're going to have a single routing logic, which is simply called the, the default route. By default, you'll see that our default route points to a default origin server, which basically points to nothing. So under normal conditions, if you just make a normal request to front door, nothing will happen. We'll get an error saying the service is unavailable. However, in our demonstration, I'll show how you can link a advanced rule set using the front door rule engine to your root. So we take this thing called a rule set and we link it to our root. And inside of there, I'll show you how you can meet this customer's requirements in that if the body contains the word red, we'll override the origin and send it to our red origin, which points to a storage account with a static website hosting a text file that simply says, this is the red website. If the message contains blue, it'll go to our blue origin, which is a different storage account with a blue website. So first things first, default behavior, just doing a normal curl with HTTP get. I see that it effectively times out and we get the service is unavailable. And notice that the FQDN that I'm curling here is the front end of my Azure front door. So we see here, if I go to overview, that's my endpoint host name. Now let me show you how the logic maps in the portal on the left to the diagram on the right. I've got my single root here, which is mapped to that default origin, which is the gray one here that's going nowhere. I can also see if I edit that root here, my default root, I do have it attached to this rule set down the bottom called colors. So this rule set here is called colors. Now let's have a look at our rule set. We can see here in the GUI, it's very easy to understand if then logic so I very simply have, if my request body contains the string blue, then I'll override the routing configuration and the default routing configuration we, we know is to send it to that origin that's going nowhere. I'll override my default root configuration and I'll send it to my blue origin group, which goes to my blue storage account backend. Similarly, if it contains red, so if my request body contains red, root it to the red origin, and here inside of my origin groups, you'll see that even though they're unassociated, we can still make use of them with the rule set overrides. And very simply here, I've just got them pointing to storage accounts with static websites turned on. For example, if I go to the red origin server, you see I get, I am the red website. So let's see that in action. So here we had before a very simple unmodified curl. If I change that, 
to do a couple of things. So I'm going to make sure that when I pass through my data, I'm going to include the string blue in the request. And I'm also going to specify the content type here as XML. That means that when front door tries to parse the data, it knows that it's XML data and not something else like JSON. So you can see straight away by doing that, I get back the correct string. So my rules engine's working there. So if I pass through XML data with blue in it, I get routed to the blue backend. If I change my string to include red, I get back the red website. So you can see there, that's some pretty powerful custom routing logic, which might normally require a fairly advanced on-premises physical appliance to do it. We're using Azure Front Door here as a Microsoft native tool to enable that fairly advanced feature. Just to round that off one step further, we can go into the Azure Front Door diagnostic logs here. Here I've got a query that simply searches my Front Door access log for the last 30 minutes, summarizes based on the name of the rule engine match. So if I rerun that, you will see here that I'm getting matches both on the default. This bottom one here is no rules engine match. That's where I get routed to the gray box here and get back the service unavailable but I'm also seeing matches here on data and requests that matched my blue rule and my red rule. If I was to remove that summarization from my query and just get a raw log of the output here of requests, we could jump into one of these and you could get all the information required, including the fact that it matched based on the rules engine that we configured. Anyway, that was a quick video. Hopefully that advanced rules engine feature helps you unblock your workload when you move to Azure and I'll see you in the next one.